Lesson 3.2, read and write decimals, place value of decimals. We can read, write, and represent decimals through thousandths by using a place value chart to help us see the value of each digit. Each place value is 10 times as much as the place to its right. So here we have a place value chart showing our whole numbers and our decimals. The thousands place is 10 times the hundreds place. And the hundreds place is 10 times the tens place. And the tens place is 10 times the ones place. And the ones place is 10 times the tenths place. And the tenths place is 10 times the hundredths place, which is 10 times the thousandths place. Each place value is 10 times as much as the place to its right. So one hundredth is equal to 10 times one thousandth. A decimal can be written in standard form, expanded form, or word form. Here we have 25 hundredths written in standard form. In expanded form, we would multiply the two times one tenth because it's in the tenths place. And we would add it to five times one hundredth because the five is in the hundredths place. In word form, we would write 25 hundredths. And remember that a number directly next to parentheses tells us to use multiplication. So this is 3 times 4, it's equal to 12. As we get older, we're going to start using variables such as the letter x. We don't want to confuse it with multiplication. So if you can start getting used to using parentheses for multiplication, it'll help you in your math. When reading decimals, the place value of the digit farthest to the right, the last digit, determines the name of the decimal. So here we have a 6 in the tenths place, it's 6 tenths. Here we have a 6 in the tenths place, but a 0 in the hundredths place. And the last digit is a 0, so that determines its name, it's 60 hundredths. Here we still have a 6 in the tenths place, but now we have a 0 in the hundredths and in the thousandths place. And that 0 in the thousandths place determine, determines its name, 600 thousandths. So though each decimal has a 6 in the tenths place, the last digit is the decimal's name. In fourth grade math 2.6, we learned to write whole numbers in expanded form. 236 is equal to 2 times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 6 times 1. We can use the same rules to expand decimals. We multiply by 1 tenth, 1 hundredth, or 1 thousandth instead of 1 ten or 100. If we see 236 thousandths, it's 2 times 1 tenth, because there's a 2 in the tenths place, 3 times 1 hundredth, because there's a 3 in the hundredths place, plus 6 times 1 thousandth, because there's a 6 in the thousandths place. Whole numbers are to the left of the decimal point, decimals are to the right of the decimal point. And the decimal point is read and written as and. This would be 9 and 6 tenths. We can write a decimal in other forms. 4 and 375 thousandths in expanded form and word form. Here we have it written in our place value chart. We would multiply by these numbers right here. So the 4 would be multiplied by 1. The 3 would be multiplied by a tenth. The 7 would be multiplied by a hundredth and the 5 would be multiplied by a thousandth. That would be 4 plus 3 tenths plus 7 hundredths plus 5 thousandths. And in word form, we would have 4 and, there's our decimal point, and, 4 and 375 thousandths. We can use place value to read and write decimals. Here we have in standard form 5 and 89 hundredths. 
In expanded form, we have 5 times 1 plus 8 times 1 tenth, because it's in the tenths place, plus 9 times 1 hundredth, because it's in the hundredths place. In word form, it would be read as 5 and 89 hundredths. When reading or writing a decimal, we read or write the number with its place values combined the same way we read or write whole numbers. Then we attach its decimal place value on the N. So if we had 34, it's read and written as 34. But if we have 0.34, it's read and written as 34 hundredths. So we still read it as 34, but then we used the place value for the last digit as the last word. So it's 34 hundredths. Here we have a decimal point, an 8 and a 0, 0. Well, if it was just 800, it's read and written as 800. And we group the place values together. Now we have 800 thousandths. See, the last digit is in the thousandths place. So we say 800, or read, or write 800, but then we add that decimal place value on the end, it's thousandths. We can compare these decimals by using a place value chart and counting the number of place value positions to the digit 6 in 6 tenths and 6 hundredths. So here we have 6 tenths, here we have 6 hundredths, do you notice that this one has one fewer place value than six hundredths? And one fewer decimal place is ten times as much. That means ten times more than. So six tenths is ten times as much as six hundredths. And six hundredths is one tenth of six tenths. Comparing six tenths to six thousandths, six tenths has two fewer decimal places than six thousandths. And two fewer decimal places is ten times ten as much. That would be one hundred. So six tenths is one hundred times as much as six thousandths. And six thousandths is one hundredth of six tenths. What is the value of the underlined digit? We can think of a place value chart to help us. Here, the 2 is underlined. Do you know what the value of that digit is? If you said 2 hundredths, you're right. What is the value of this underlined digit? If you said 3 tenths, you're right. And what is the value of this underlined digit? If you said 8 thousandths, you're right. And what is the value of this underlined digit? We can write it as 0, 0 .00 for 0 hundredths. We could even write the words for the value of these digits. This would be two hundredths, this would be three tenths, this would be eight thousandths, and this would be zero hundredths. What is the value of the underlined digit circle all that apply? So we can see the underlined digit is the six. So we need to circle all that apply that would be the value of that digit. Do you think this would be the value of the digit? How many places is it from the decimal point? One, two. And this one is one, two, three. So it wouldn't be this one. Would it be this one? This is six thousandths. Yes, that's six thousandths. Would it be six times one hundredth? No, that's in the thousandths place. Six times one thousandth? 
Yes, that one works. Is it six hundredths? No, it's in the thousandths place, so it would be six thousandths. Does it have the value of six times one thousand? No, we know it's six times one thousandth. In our next lesson, 3.3, .3, we're going to compare and order decimals by using place value. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.